episode one of Slime, after I've seen the line going back to it a couple years later, it's actually such a different experience. All the skills that he learned, he literally got it because like he was saying all this shit like, oh, I feel cold, cold resistance. Oh, I feel hot, hot resistance. Oh, I feel pain. Pain resistance. Oh, I'm a virgin. Virgin resistance? I don't know. But basically, he became a predator, right? The one of the most important skills in this fucking show. We got it because he says, when I re when, when I reincarnated in the next life, I'm going to be fucking a menace. And the great stage is like, all right, predator. Pretty funny. I forgot how much of a tsundere Veldora was. Like the Veldora slime scene. Like, think about it. This is like, we get reincarnated into this world. And Rimuru thinks that this is like tutorial beginner zone. But everything we're collecting already is like high end material right then we meet a sealed dragon one of the four elite dragons right and we do a little little touch because we're friends that was so wholesome let's see episode two but before that i think it's time for slime season one opening reaction let's go <laughs> meeting the goblins my friend my friend oh my. <laughs> you're my friend <laughs> Tsundere dragon. Mm. Is he lying? Really? Yeah, so many valuable ones that we just farmed. Okay. That's pretty sad. He's just gonna give up. No, I feel like he's making this shit up just to make him feel sad. You know, feel bad for him. So we're doing predator on the barrier seal itself. How did he absorb Veldor again? Try again. Are you getting jealous? Okay. What is it? Analyze it from inside and out. All we have is time, don't we? I mean, if it's for a friend. <laughs> Eat him! Yes. Yeah, come on, buddy. Get in my belly. Okay. <laughs> sure. Uh. <laughs> He's probably down, right? I mean, he is down. <laughs> All right, let's go. It's time to swallow the dragon, guys. Veldra is going to be in us. A name. Rimuru Tempest. Veldra naming Rimuru here is huge, right? Divine protection. Huh. So Veldra and Rimuru both become stronger together just because of the sharing of the names, huh? Huh. Tempest. Tempest. Yeah. Pretty cool. Tempest. What? Do you like it or not? <laughs> fucking baited. I was like, I fucking know. I love it. Cool. He loves it. Okay. 
Why did he name him Rimuru, though? Is, is there a reason in the light novel why Veldora picked the name Rimuru specifically? It just seems kind of random, right? What does it mean? See? Getting stronger. The naming. The naming system. Okay. Cool. He's all shiny now. Best friend. Ooh. All right, get in me. Come inside of me right now. Swallow him. Ooh. But it's like so big. How do you just... All right. There we go. Easy. Now Veldra's in us. A dragon resides within Rimuru. Yeah. Unseal it. It takes a long time for this, right? This sends like tremors throughout the whole world, right? This is like really dangerous. Like, holy shit. The Veldra is gone. And it's like, what the fuck? We can also like sense the dragon's like presence within this. Isn't that what happens? People are like, what the fuck? This is like a huge deal, right? In terms of like politics, you know, diplomacy of all the different nations around here. CGI flag, I saw it. I saw it. Burumundo, this is... Who are these dudes? I don't remember these guys. Kill Master Feud, he seems familiar. I forget, these are such details from a long time ago. I, he seems familiar though. Because I remember that the Dwarf Kingdom... So this is just like the adventure guild managers? Yeah, huge deal. Veldro's gone now. Now the East can just invade us. <laughs> this is crazy because like Rimuru and Veldor, they're just fucking around. They're just best bros just doing their thing. But like that act of just like saving him just causes tremors across the entire world. Nope. <laughs> Great Forest to Jura. Right, that's where Rimuru kind of chills at. Jura Forest. Of course you didn't, until later. More farming OP mats. How? Just for moving in water? Okay. Cool. Chill! Chill! Jesus. Life is just on autopilot. But even this black serpent is like important, doesn't he? But even then compared to regular- Like regular adventures can't beat this guy, right? Water blade. Easy. Now, predator. Absorb it. Maybe we'll get like poison resistance. I don't know. No, I think he already has that. Now we're thinking. Yes, you can just absorb everything. Time to swallow again, guys. Oh, he just... I thought he just had a diarrhea there. What do we get? Poison breath. Sense heat source is probably a really OP skill because it's just pretty much just like night vision, right? It's just vision entirely. Mimic black serpents. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely will. More farming. Poison! Oh, he just turns into the serpent? Okay. 
<laughs> that was a bit too easy. Body armor acquired. And like, you think that these are just random mob monsters and they kind of seem like it, but they're like super, super fucking OP. And all their skills are super important. Paralysis breath. Hold the fuck up. Isn't this basically Arifureta right now? Sticky thread, steel thread. He's even doing the Tarzan. Uh, sound wave, yeah, ultrasonic wave. Cool, we can actually speak now. <laughs> because of the bat and the other thing we can speak. Hmm? A door. Surely this isn't the boss's lair. Surely this is a way out. Memories are coming back to me. The adventures that we're about to meet now, I think there's like a flashback in the future episodes. I don't know exactly when, but there is like a, a, a scene where we recollect like adventures first like walking through this lair. I don't know when it happens, but I swear to God, this does happen. There's like three dudes, right? Or something, one girl, two guys, I forget. Yeah, 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 I remember these guys. Why are they here? Did the guild send them? No shot fuse the guild guy sent these like D-class adventurers into Veldora's lair. No shot. Are you serious? They would not survive here. You don't have to learn their language. You just have fucking AI. You just have the great stage. Just like anything that you can hear, it just word just makes sense of it. So can Rimuru like talk to like animals? If if like rabbits are like squeaking at it, can he understand? Probably. Cool. Yeah, people are gonna water blade on them asses. Ooh. Hey, we should kill him and eat him to get the invisible skill. <laughs> Bro, come on! Invisible skills? Oh, that'd be so good to use for creep. What a piece of shit! I'll have to talk to him about it later. Cool. Alright, we're out. Peace. Oh, she detected a sense. Now we're gonna meet them later again, I think. He's just chilling in us. This is a nostalgic soundtrack. This is a very nostalgic soundtrack. I recognize this one. Goblins! <laughs> now, if this is Goblin Slayer, you know what the goblins do in these isekais or, you know, fantasy shows. They, they... Maybe clapping some cheeks, but in this show, what I remember, the goblins are actually very cute. And wholesome and nice. They're so nice. Mm. Strong one. Yo, where's Gopta at? You're gonna scare them more! Just terrifying goblins. Please, strong one, leave us alone. All right, little whispers. Sense the powerful monster. You, dumbass, you! Save our village. Woo, who was attacking the village? I forget. Gopta! The legend, Gopta! Oh, right, this is Grandpa. Yeah, the, 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 the elder. 
Because of Rimuru, right? Because we took out Veldora. Rimuru's pretty much displaced this entire place. Yep. For money. Nino, you're the strongest slime, though. You can do more than what they expect. He really does underestimate his own powers, huh? The aura, dude. The aura! You're oozing the Tempest Dragon aura! Ah, shit! The sinister dark aura, right? Boo! Yeah. Bro, you had the fucking love front tailgate lights that's on the entire time. What are you doing? And he screamed at them. Aye, oh, yeah, all part of the plan. I just wanted to see if you could detect it. All part of a test, I just play along, uh huh. Alright, we can just suck the aura in too. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Mm, right! Ranga! The wolves and the dire wolves and the goblins are fighting, right, right, right. What does he say again? He's like, Waga Aruji. Damn. What the fuck? Yo, this is so sad. Oh my, yo, I don't remember the goblin's backstory being this sad. What the fuck? Oh, oh we need like at least a thousand goblins then. We only have children and women now. Rimuru, come on, you gotta save them. Damn. I, I don't remember any of this shipping this so sad. It was his son! What is this sad backstory of a sudden? Oh, come on, save him. Man, they don't got anything, right? Like, what do they have? They don't have anything. Their loyalty. We swear allegiance to you. This is an actual test? Okay. There you go. We submit. Oof. For his Koha, you gotta do it. Was he that cool back in Earth? Well, that was kind of cool. Dire Wolves! Where's Gopta the legend? Gopta, save them! I'm just trying to look for Gopta around them right now. Where is he? Wait, did he just say on behalf of Veldora? Wait, 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 what? Hold on, hold on. In lieu of the Storm Dragon Veldora. Yo, I bet if Veldora could hear this, he'd go, Oh, you really think of me that way? Alright. That's a lot of goblin cake everywhere. And that's the episode. And it was kind of set up right because we're about to protect the goblins from the dire wolves. But it's really interesting how right off the bat, right, we get the naming system done. Because from what I remember, Rimuru does like name every faction that he kind of like accepts to his own, right? And gives them names and they get all jacked and buff and handsome and strong. Veldora didn't change because he was already a Veldora, the storm dragon. But then we gave him like a surname, like Tempest. So I guess that's a bit different. I don't know. And then Veldora actually named us though, Rimuru. There must be some reason why it's... Rimuru though, right? Because it wouldn't surely it wouldn't be a random name. Maybe it's some light novel content. I have no clue. But that's pretty cool to see that. I like I the season one stuff again. Like I forget little details like this, and I feel like this is super important, right? And then there was the adventures that showed up. I forget why they couldn't detect though. I mean the girl could sense a little bit, but are they just that shitty that they couldn't even sense the the storm dragon's aura? I think it's just hilarious that Fuse sent these three people <laughs> into the fucking boss's lair. Fucking insane. These guys are not getting paid enough. I don't remember the goblin 
Joplin's backstory being this sad, the sentimental piano track started playing, and I'm like, oh my god, I started to actually get invested emotionally into them, but it's alright, because next episode, we gonna save him, and we gonna get a pet that's gonna call us Waka Aruji. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.